What's up everybody, today with another toy review of Voldemort. Oh, as we all know, the proper way to say it is Harry Potter, the boy who lives, comes to die. Oh my god! Isn't that ain't the best line? Like, I love that line so much. Harry Potter, the boy who lives, comes to die. I did a Harry Potter toy review and I also had Voldemort. Like I said, I'm still missing Ron and Hermione of this series. And like you see at the end, we see the other two figures and Buckbeat. I still gotta get Buckbeat. But like, we get again the classic Harry Potter cardboard from McFarlane, which I do like. I really hope we get more uh, Harry Potter figures from McFarlane. I would love to see Dumbledore, I'd love to see Snape. Also, I would love to see a Quidditch version of like Malfoy and Harry. Like, I would love to see more because these figures look very cool. So let's open up. Tom Marvelous Red. I am Lord Voldemort. I love that in Chamber of Secrets where he just does with the one and it flips open. Now here we have. Bam! Here we have the figure and also. Don't need that. It is ooh, oh, this is cool. The background is, you know, when he destroys the force field of Hogwarts at the Deathly Hallows part two. Like this is actually pretty cool. This gives some great idea for toy photography. But here we have the figure. Looking very cool. <laughs> I love this. Oh, okay, wait. So we got Nagini here. Which also, by the way. Why wasn't she in Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore? Like, she didn't die. I mean, we know she doesn't die. I mean, she's in the Harry Potter movies. I missed her in this movie. I don't know why. But like, let's get the snake out. Okay, which is actually very... Ah. Ah. Okay, so we have the snake, Nagini. Now, this snake's actually very cool. This is a very cool figure, of course. And then, of course, we have this little stand here. At the bottom. Saying Harry Potter, which is very cool. Now I love that we always come with some stands. And of course the figure itself. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Yo, oh shit, the head scope is awesome. Yo, this figure is really great. This figure is awesome. This figure is really, really great. This figure is cool. This is cloth. Also, this figure is really cool. Well, can't forget. The Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in Harry Potter. It was also very cool. There's some cool details with it. I know this figure is really great. I'm really happy I got this figure. So we have the Lord Voldemort figure looking very cool. The face scope is actually very great. Also, we get Nagini here with the figure, which is also cool. And you can actually twist and turn, like you can twist and turn the body in different shapes and sizes so you can put the snake like this or you can basically you can twist around and basically do any position you like or feel you want the snake to basically have but i'm gonna keep it more on the classic pose which is this right here just being menacing now when it comes to the figure itself it's actually very good this is nice cloth material what i really like i already put this wand in his hand because the is the wand is made out of like this cheap rubber so you got to be careful when you put it in the hand because you don't want to break it and it comes with you know his open palm of course also i like the background of hogwarts Oops. upside down <laughs> but like the figure is very cool very great now when it comes to articulation you have double jointed elbows which you can feel here and when you lift the skirt actually up <laughs> the figure looks like this so it's basically black painted as you can see here completely black painted from the bottom down except the feet we get double jointed knees with the figure which is pretty cool but I do love this cloth and also when it comes to foot you got ankle pivot foot twirl very good foot <laughs> foot movement like pretty decent movement when it comes to the figures also splits you can do as oh you can do the figure is very flexible and otherwise. And when it comes to head movement, yes, yeah, the head movement with these Harry Potter figures are pretty limited. Like you can move it side to side, but yeah, it's not very much. When it comes to upper torso, yeah, it's not very much also. Like you can move it a little bit when it comes to it. So when it comes to the face sculpt, it's actually very beautifully made. Like if you look 
It looks exactly like Ralph Fiennes. The face sculpt is done beautifully, really spot on. They really outdid themselves with this face sculpt. This is really accurate and looks really amazing. Here we have him with the Harry Potter McFarlane figure, which I mentioned in my previous video of this toy review. And it, the height is very good. Actually, I think Harry Potter and, Ra and Voldemort is height is accurately and it looks great with each other, especially with this cool background in the back. So I'm very happy with these two figures. It looks very great. I just have to get the rest. And here we have him with the black series Dark Vader and with the black series Stormtrooper battle damage and I must say this looks also very good like here switching up the franchises a little bit but I think Voldemort is a little bit taller Dark Vader I don't think Voldemort would be taller than Dark Vader but it still looks pretty good I mean it's it's manageable if you have it next to a shelf or for toy photography uh, yo let me know who you think would win Voldemort or Dark Vader who would win against them comment down below here we have him with the Marvel Legends Logan and with the Marvel Legends Storm and I think this looks actually not that bad I must say when it comes with the two figures I think this is not bad if you put them next to a shelf or anything or do some fun crossover uh, as you like I think it's pretty manageable and it actually looks all right i mean it's not that great but it looks all right here we have him with the dc icons joker and harley quinn i must say this figure doesn't scale as well the mcfarlane figures with the dc icons because they are shorter than the other ones so if you put them next to a shelf or if you want to do toy photography it will be a little bit tricky i don't think it will look as good as well and here we have him with the mcfarlane Ark knights batman with the batman who laughs mcfarlane figure and i think this scales actually pretty well i must say like it just looks pretty good if you put it next to a shelf with each other or if you have a shelf of villains for example for McFarlane so Voldemort would look good with the Batman who laughs. Looks cool on a shelf even with Toy Photography very cool. Also who you think will win in the battle? Batman or Voldemort? <laughs> or the Batman who laughs or and Voldemort? Let me see who you think would win. Overall, this is a great figure, it's a lot of fun, the head scope is good, the cloth, the movement is actually better than the Harry Potter figure, and the snake is very cool, Nagini, and I'm very happy with this figure, so thanks everybody for watching, as always, see you next time. What a good opera!